The levels system in Ratchet and Clank works with IDs. The game uses this ID to gather the name of planets and cities that are loaded into the RAM. The names of all the locations are listed first, immediately followed by the names of the planets. These are the first 36 levels, almost all of these are playable even if not all are easy to access. Level 0 is shown just to prove there is nothing there. As you can see, the order of the planets doesn't match the order you can see in the gameplay, and some planets have multiple IDs as the map changes during different sections of the level. At level 15 we can see a placeholder level called level 15 underscore city name on the planet level 15 underscore planet name, we'll talk more in depth about this later. The Galactic Rangers levels usually have the same name as the planet they're hosted in, exception made for Metropolis where the level is named Metropolis Battle. Surprisingly, the name Sewers is not used when saving in that location on Aquatis, despite the fact that the name is listed inside the RAM. Eventually, IDs from 30 to 36 are reserved for the vid comics. It's easy to see that the ID of the level also controls the layout of the pause menu. We earlier saw level 15, this is a special level because it's the only unplayable level that behaves almost like it were a normal one, we can see Metropolis associated with it in the save menu and it's also visible a grey image in the galactic map, which other unplayable levels don't show. It's also possible to travel to it but the game will fail upon leaving the current planet. After the main planets, there's the possibility to go beyond and look for some other names. By increasing the counter it's easy to see all the names of the already known planets as they go into overflow. The order is apparently identical even if the planet and location name can be found mixed. A level with a strange name is Botports at ID 54, this is not listed with the names of the other planets. Similarly, the content of a variable can be seen under the ID 59, it can be found with the name, Triangle, or, Circle. The first is visible inside the ship and the second one from the save menu as it probably refers to the last pressed key of the last requested input. Eventually, certain levels can be seen with the name, Paradoxer, such as levels 6 and 20 if not loaded properly or levels 25 and 47 in any circumstance. This is probably due to an exception caught by the code. All this can be seen either from the save menu, from the ship menu or even while traveling to another planet. With rare exceptions, loading such levels eventually results in a crash either instantaneous, upon entering the level loading screen, or right after it. By going even further it's possible to see the same names popping out here and they're always due to overflow. For example level 91802 will show Nabla Forest, the very last possible ID is 4,294,967,295 and if loaded onto the ship will show the name Kaizil Plateau. This is all the information I could find as it's a little time consuming to test all the possibilities, and I think it's safe to say that any level beyond 36 is the result of unhandled exceptions. To conclude, here's the list of all the locations saved in the RAM while normally playing. As we can see there are many temporary names, multiplayer maps and even the name Lot 43, probably a multiplayer or single player map on Holostar Studios. 